Today we're going to talk about one of the brand new features on the X5 and X1 camera, and that is the built-in HX decoder feature. So I'm going to go ahead and flip over and show you the back of this X5, and we'll run through some of the features and show you actually an example of what I'm doing right now to highlight this decoder feature. So if I flip over to the back, you'll see we have our NDI PoE Plus port right here. We have our serial control cable if you want to use that, and then we have our 3.5 millimeter audio mic and line level uh, input. We have two HDMI ports here, which is awesome. Uh, HDMI 1 can either be used to show the output of the camera while you're doing your NDI feed or SDI, and then HDMI 2 can be used as a dedicated decoder source, which we'll highlight in a second. Uh, you can also change HDMI 1 to be the decoder as well if you want. Uh, and then we have our USB-C for UVC connection into something like Zoom or Teams. And then you'll see we have our 12G SDI for 4K60 video, uh, as as well as our DC 12 volt power if you don't have a PoE switch. Uh, so now I'll go ahead and flip to the back of the camera that I'm using right now to record this and you'll see me whip over here. And we are actually just using this one uh, RJ45 cable for PoE uh, video audio. I have that going into the 3.5 jack there with this Rode wireless pack. And then I'm using that HDMI out to power the screen uh, behind me in the studio. So now I'll go ahead and flip over and show you the studio setup that I have. And right here I have my program feed going into this monitor right behind me. Now I'll go ahead and flip over to the UI so you can see exactly what we can do to customize what's coming out of that decoder feed. So if I flip over here, you'll see my UI and my uh, confidence monitor here. So on the screen, we can choose what resolution we want to output this on. And like I mentioned, we have two different HDMIs. So if you wanna use that HDMI one output as a decoder, we can select on. If I press off, we will basically just see the camera feed come out of the HDMI. And then we can use that HDMI two for a decoder feed as well. Uh, down here, if I click this drop down, you will see all of my NDI sources on my network. Now, like I said, this needs to be HX. So um, right now I'm using vMix and using NDI bridge to convert that full NDI to HX so that I can output this uh, from the HDMI port. So what's great about this is you can see I have my program feed. Uh, if I had, let's say, a nether switcher going on uh, and I want to show, let's say, content um, on the screen out of the camera, whether it's related to it or if I just need a decoder and a video feed somewhere else, I can switch that and now play a video uh, right out of the camera. So we can also do a nether NDI source, like let's say a different camera somewhere around your office. So this I'll just choose one of the other conference rooms that we have and you'll see it'll pop up the video feed of another NDI source somewhere in my building. So you can really use this decoder source to kind of get full, maximize your potential for how you wanna do your production. Uh, I'll go ahead and flip back to my program feed here that I'm recording this video on. And there, now we're back. So that is just one of the really cool features that you can do with this brand new X5 and X1, like I mentioned. And all this is built right into the feature set of the camera. So we hope you guys enjoyed this new feature and can't wait to see how you use it out in the field and customize your workflows. Thanks.